Was it a teller marketer or was it a prank call? Either way, it was way beyond offensive. It was flat out racist. The Albuquerque man on the receiving end of the call is determined to find out who's behind it. Here's News 13's Nancy Laughlin with a recording of the tirade. Nancy? Well, Jess, it's a call that started out pleasant, but things quickly turned nasty and ugly. And we should warn you, this one has some harsh language, including the N-word a lot. Yesterday afternoon, a man named Michael picked up his cell phone and heard this. Your wife is black? Yeah. My dick is white, but I have a black accent. Prick. Lover. Yeah, Joe. You're a, you're a the call didn't start out that way. It began with a conversation from a man who claimed he was a telemarketer calling from a credit card company. When Michael told him he was on the do not call list, things got ugly, with the caller using the N word again and again. Michael began recording and threatened to sue. I'm gonna that in the ass. Keep it I'm gonna sue you, and you're gonna owe me. Number to reach me, you prick. How can you sue something you can't see? Michael also got the number. We traced it to Boston. We spoke with operators there who say callers can put in fake numbers that are difficult to trace. We also called a credit card company. They say they don't have any telemarketing offices in that area and maintain their employees would never do this. Oh, that new wife of yours. Good for you, buddy. What can you do? I'm going to go to her job and f*** her and we'll f*** her to dart at school. Keep on talking. I've been recording for at least three minutes now. Oh, my God. I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm scared. I'll call you back in two minutes, okay? Michael didn't want his face on camera, but wants to know who the voice was on the other end of his phone. He threatened my family, and I don't appreciate it. Okay, Michael's wife called the governor's office. They say it is out of their jurisdiction and there's little they can do. Michael is also filing a report with APD, but APD says tracing numbers like this is very, very difficult. Back to you. Okay, Nancy, Michael also contacted the FCC and is hoping workers there will help him get some answers.